Hi guys, Jim here with another Sudoku video and today we will be tackling an arrow Sudoku which I will explain in a bit. Firstly though, just as, a, as ever, a reminder, this, I'm playing through the puzzles presented by the Cracking the Cryptic team. A uh, quick word on them, they are a couple of puzzle solving experts who have their own YouTube channel and they make great content and I really recommend checking them out. Especially if you like content like this, they solve puzzles ranging from Sudoku but like actually covering all sorts of variants and clever things so yeah really worth checking them out I think they're great value they've also put for put up for sale these collections of puzzles um, which you can buy on your phone or on Steam um, which I'm playing through today and I think they are top quality Sudoku puzzles if you've got any interest in solving puzzles yourself or um, you've been tempted I definitely worth checking them out they are tough so they start hard and they get very hard so just bear that in mind um uh but yeah they're handcrafted um they are logically very beautiful they have handwritten hints to help you through it so yeah really can't speak highly of them enough right that said let's jump into today's puzzle and this is an arrow sudoku so firstly where am i so i'm on the last two star difficulty this is my eighth two three four five, yeah eighth puzzle uh, which eighth arrow puzzle which is cool my final two star difficulty and um, yeah so what do I mean by an arrow sudoku so arrow sudoku follows the normal rules of sudoku so every nine by nine box every nine cell column or row in this case and column um, must contain the digits one through nine um, by itself that normally lets you create a puzzle but in addition we've got this additional logical constraints which are these arrows and these arrows basically tell me um, that this digit here must equal the sum of the digits that are placed on the arrow. So typically arrows, uh, the shaft of the arrow has relatively small digits and the bulbs have relatively large digits. Not always the case, but that's the usual rule of thumb. Anyway, so uh, that's the rule. Um, let's go. And so with arrows, the kind of one of the main things to notice about arrows, although I notice we've got a lot of sevens. Can I do anything with sevens quickly? I can. I can just place a seven in the middle. I can place a... Wait. Oh, sorry. Right, a seven can go in one of these two places. Okay. I feel like I've cheated there because I got that wrong. I just didn't see that there was another digit available, another cell available for a seven. So... I feel like that's the first time I've actually been saved by the software telling me if I've gone wrong. So, mm, puzzle one, Jim, zero there. Um, and I can pencil mark sevens over here. Right, just a quick detour through sevens because I noticed that there are quite a lot of them in the puzzle. Sixes as well? Yeah, I can place a six over here. I'm just checking my logic quickly. Yes, I can place a six here. Um just by looking at the sixes that look around. In this box, I can limit a six into one of these two cells. Uh, I can place a six in this box as well, which limits sixes to one of these two cells. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. So normally with arrows to dokus, I typically jump straight into the arrows. Um, but yeah, I just noticed a few a few things I could do there. I can actually pop threes into here as well. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get too much more luck with cells given in the grid. So let's have a think about the arrows. Now, three cell arrows. I think these are all three cell arrows, although these are interesting. So I should say that digits are allowed to repeat on an arrow if they're allowed to under normal rules of Sudoku. So obviously these digits must all be different because they're in the same row. But these digits um, could actually be different. Well, these two have to be the same because they're in the same box, but this one could be the same as that one. There's no reason why not. Um, so just bear that in mind. Now, with three cell arrows, um, I call this a three cell arrow. I think some people might call it a four cell arrow because there's actually four cells in the arrow, but there are three cells on the arrow shaft, which is where it's interesting. What is the smallest digits you could put on a three cell arrow without, re without repeats? Well, you could do one, two, and three, which would give you a six as the sum. Now, um, and so any three cell arrow 
that can't repeat, you know the minimum is a six. So actually what you can do right off the bat is pencil mark in the options for the arrow being six, seven, and eight. Well, I can actually do six, seven, eight, and nine, I should say. So I can do better than that here because obviously that can't be a six or indeed a nine. So I can drop those out. So that can only be a seven or an eight. And what that tells me as well um, in this particular case, um, a seven, if it was a seven, there's only one way to make a seven in three cells that have to be different. It's one, two, and four. Um, but an eight can be made in two different ways. It can be one, three, and four, or one, two, and five. Either way, there's a one, right? So either it's a one, two, four, or it is a one, three, four, or a one, two, five. So they all have a one in. So I know for a fact there is a one on this arrow, regardless of what the actual sum is. Um, and because there's a one in the box, I can pop it here. So what that does, that's really powerful, isn't it? Because now this is telling me that these cannot be one. So the minimum these two could be is two and three. Um, this could be a one, unfortunately. So again, we get back to a six, but it rules out this being like a one, a two, and a, or sorry, a two, a one, and a one, um, which would be a four. So this would be not very limited if this was a four. However, because it has to go two and three as a minimum, this has to be at least a six. Um, and in fact, six, seven, eight all see this cell. So this must be a nine, which is nice. So I can't tell you very much about what the nine is made up of. Um, so six is quite large to put on an arrow. Normally you wouldn't be able. To... No, you could always put a six on a. It's the largest digit you can put on a, a three cell arrow without repeats because you could go six, one and two, which gives you nine. So it could well be six, one and two. But anyway, I don't know. But let's keep going with this logic, right? So again, we've got three cells here. Um, this must be a, at least a six, and it sees seven, eight, and nine all in the box. So that is, in fact, a six. What that tells me, firstly, it tells me that this is a six by my pencil marking from before, but it also tells me this must be a one, two, and three, because it's the only way you can make six. Um, so that's nice, and that one sees that, so that can't be a one. <laughs> I say as I accidentally put a one in the box. I obviously didn't mean to do that, so that doesn't count. That is not me losing to this puzzle. Um, okay, so we can do the same thing here. So this must be a, at least a six. It sees seven and six in the box, so it is an eight or a nine. Now, I can't do the same trick here because if this is a nine, this could be two, three, and four, which doesn't have a one. Although I've just seen that it can't be two, three, and four. Um, I'll explain that in a sec. But in theory, nine has three ways, two, three, and four, one, and all the ways of making six without a one, two, six, three, five. Yeah, so in theory, there are three ways to make a nine, but they don't all involve a one, unfortunately. So normally, that's not so helpful. But actually, can this be a two, three, four? I posit that it cannot be a two, three, four because this cell must be a two or a three. So if this is a two, three, four, what can you put in the cell? Nada. So actually, this isn't a two, three, four. Therefore, there is a one on it. Um, I don't know if it's an eight or a nine, but there is a one on it. So I know that the one goes here. Is that useful? I don't know. It might prove to be useful. Um. <clears throat> Okay, is that all my... No, okay, we've got one last three-cell arrow without repeats. So this is at least a six, and it sees a seven and a six in the box. So again, this can be an eight or a nine. And again, this could be... Actually, this genuinely could be a two, three, four. So I can't even tell you there's a one on this arrow, which is unfortunate. Okay, so that's been helpful. I think. Yeah, I'd say that's been helpful. So I know now a nine is in one of these two cells in this box. Um, nines are useful to look for because you can never put a nine on an arrow shaft unless it's a one cell arrow. So for instance, in this box, I know that a nine can't go there. Um, I know as well that nine can't go there anyway. So nine is limited to one of these three. I'm not going to note that down just yet, but it's interesting to mention. Is it interesting? I don't know. I might be stretching the definition of interesting there. Hmm. I've done all my sixes, haven't I? Okay.
Now the problem we're left with, we're left with these arrows and as I say, these are not that restricted because this could be a 2 1 1 triple which would mean that could be 2 and 1 and 1 this could be as low as a 4 but maybe let's look at this column actually so what can go in this column so we've got a 1 2 3 triple so you can't put 1 2 or 3 anywhere else in this column so what are we missing so we're missing from these cells we're missing 4 5 and 8 Ah, now eight's interesting here, isn't it? Can you put an eight here? No, because you then you wouldn't be able to put anything in this box. Can you put an eight here? Um, no, because you've got two other cells. So even if they were both one, that would still be 10 uh, to go in the bulb. So actually eight in this row can only go here. So that is definitely an eight. That means this is definitely a seven. And what that, if I may bring your mind back, there's only one way to make seven from three cells if they're all different. That is one, two, and four. So this can't be a five. So that is a four. And that is a five. That was a really productive column to look at. So these are a one and a two now. I can take out the corner pencil marks. Uh, in this box, we know that four can only be in one of these two cells. Ah, and it can't go on the arrow because there's a five on the arrow. Um, so this cell must be at least five. So that is a four. These two cells are now container four. Right, so this uh, this is interesting, isn't it? So this has to be at least a five. So it has to be at least, so this is a one and a two. This has to be at least an eight, doesn't it? So this is eight or nine. Can it still be a three? If that's a three, that could be a one, couldn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, it can't be anything higher than a three and there's a one there so that's definitely a two or a three and then this is a one two or a three and it can't be a three because there's a three in the box already <clears throat> interesting ah so that's interesting so the eight nine here form a pair in this column right so this column you can't put an eight or nine in now because you need both of them for these two cells so there can't be an eight or a nine here. So in this box, eights are limited to one of these two cells. Unfortunately, I can't quite say the same. So nines are in one of these two cells, which isn't quite as useful. Where else is showing weakness? Where else is showing weakness? Well, there's a four in one of these two cells. I might as well note that. Which is interesting because now these combine. So in this box, there must be a four in one of these two cells. And you're putting a four on an arrow. So that gets interesting, doesn't it? So that's a four. Then... That would be a one and a three to make eight or <clears throat> ah hmm no it's still i can't if that's a four that can't be a nine i don't think because you'd need to make five from here and either that would be using done using a one and a four but obviously there's already a four in the column or it's done with a two and a three. And again, I can't put both a two and a three up here. So if that's a four, that is an eight, which is really interesting. But unfortunately, it could the, the, that could be the four. So it's interesting, but not helpful. Fantastic. This is interesting. These cells, these cells, are all on ah, they're not all on arrows damn it no if they were all on arrows it'd be interesting no they're not there is a one here well what's this eight what we're we saying about this eight so we could repeat so that could be one and one 
Well, no, it couldn't, because if that's one and one, that's two, leaving me needing a six, and there's a six in this box. Okay, so that's not a one and a one. And it can't be a two and a two because of these two. Could it be a three and a three? Yes, because then that would be... That would need a two, wouldn't it? And that's fine. I'm trying to... If I could rule out repeats, that would be great. And then it can't... So it, it could be two threes. Mm. That's frustrating. <clears throat> How does this work? Right, so this is a five. And so I either need a one and a two to make an eight... Or I need a four, so that would be a one and a three. Ah, oh, does that mean this is definitely a one? Could this be a two? If this was a two, this would have to be a three, and this would add up to ten. So this can't be a two, in fact, so that's a one. And that gives me a one here as well, so that's really good. Ah, yes, and there's this is a one-two pair, isn't it? So that's a one and a two sorted in that order. Good. Okay, this is two and three. Yeah, so this still works, right? So this could be a one and a two to give me an eight or a one and a three to give me a nine. So I don't know for sure. But that's a two, three pair in that column as well. So that's useful. Is that useful? Well, I know you can't put another two or a three anywhere here, although you couldn't put threes anyway. But twos can't go there. Hmm. <laughs> don't think that's that useful. Two and three here, one and yeah, so this seven is done. Can I do more with ones now? I popped a few ones in. One is limited to one of those two cells down there. I already knew there was a one up there. What about in this box? Mm, ones could be anywhere there. That's not that helpful. That's not that helpful. What about eight? Ah, well, we've got an eight. So in this, how could, yes, yes, excellent. So this eight and this eight combine forces so I don't, I don't know which one of these is the eight but I know that there can't be another eight on this row regardless of which one it is therefore that can't put eight here can't put eight here in this box and you can't put an eight here because of that one so that is an eight and that means in this row we're now only missing a four and a five but unfortunately I can't I can't resolve but that's useful Okay, can I do more damage with eight? Yes. So up here, eights are limited here because of these two forces an eight into one of these three. And then you could never put an eight on this cell because it's part of an eight cell arrow or an eight summing arrow. Um, <clears throat> can I do anything else with eights? Mm, not particularly. Tremendous. Do I, I've got one five. Okay, mm, I was going to say let's play this game again, but unfortunately I just seen so I can't so I can't repeat ones here because I got a one there and a one in the box, so these can't be two ones, but they could be two twos. That would be four, and then that could be, well, you know, quite a few things. Can't be two threes, and it can't be two fours because if this was two fours, well, there's a four there already, right? Um, so if, there's a, if there is a repeat on this area, it is two twos. It's not very limiting. Well, I say it's not very limiting. It's slightly limiting. So that's so that means this cell um, either goes one, two, and three, and in which case that is a at least a six, or it is two twos. And if it's two twos. Then, and that cell can't be a 1 because of that cell. Then it's 2, 2s and a 3, which is 7. So this is at least a 6 then. So I can say this is at least a 6, which means it can't be 6 or 7. So that is an 8 or a 9. And that is an 8, 9 in this row, which is interesting. So none of these cells can be an 8 or a 9 now. So what am I missing there? So this is therefore a 1, a 3, a 7, and a 5. Bloody hell. That can't be a 7. It could be a 5. Or indeed a 3. This can't be a 7, can it? No. Because if that was a 7, I would need two 1s to make me a 9. And then this can't be a 5. 
and this can't be a seven. So yeah, a bit of limitation here, but not that helpful. This is a um, this is a this is a slow solve. Nines are limited to one of these two cells up here. Am I, I must be missing something relatively obvious. Ah, okay, so there's a seven in this cell by these two, which gives me a seven here. So that's nice. So that's all my sevens done. You often find that with arrows. You tip, pick off the higher ones or the lower ones. Like four and five typically are the last digits to get completed. Um, I'm missing f I'm missing quite a lot from this column. What about this box? So I mentioned this earlier, didn't I? This is one, two, three, four, or five. I'm getting desperate now. So the more desperate I get, the more pencil marks I put in. That can't be one. That can't be two. So can I put a five? I think I've... Yes. Well, I can't put a five here because then these two would need to be add up to three and I can't do that with it without using a two, can I? So that can't be a five. Could be a four because then this would be a one, three. Bah. And you can put a five on a three set. So this is, that's not helpful. <laughs> I thought I would get more restriction than that. Sadly wasn't to be. What about this arrow? How do you make a nine from three cells where you can't repeat a one because of that? So this could be two twos and a five. Yep. This could be two threes. No, because I would need a three. This could be two fours and a one. Okay, so again, if it repeats, it's a two. Ah, this is a one. When did I, when did I, when did I spot this? Oh, that must have been a while ago. Uh, no, sorry, I thought that had resolved something, but it hadn't. Ignore me. Well, there's a one limited to one of these two places up there. That's what that tells me. Hooray! Gosh. Oh, sorry. I like, I prefer to do one corner pencil marks like that. What am I missing that's obvious? Someone from in the future who's watching this video on YouTube, tell me. What am I missing that's obvious? You probably are telling me. You're like screaming at the screen. You're like, come on, you idiot. Um, this is a 20 minute solve now and I'm still not, I'm nowhere near 8 and 9 2 and 3 4 and 5 <clears throat> this cell must be relatively limited right, this can't be 1, 2, 4 this could be 3 or 5 yeah, it's going to be a three or a five. So it, just because of the fact that this is a three cell arrow. So if this is a three. This needs to be, I mean, there's so many options here. That's silly. No, that's not going to help. <coughs> what am I missing here? No, damn it. <laughs> I'm missing three, five, eight, nine. And this can't be eight or nine. Oh, have we found something? We found a little something. So there's a pair. This is a three, five pair here. So that becomes <coughs> an eight or a nine. I can't put a three or a five in that cells. Again, though, and that's an eight and a nine there. But that all that tells me is that I've got a two, three, four, five, two, three. Ah, mm, no, you can't put four here. Okay, so I've got two, three, five, triple. <gasps> oh my God, we finally, we've got something. Right, that is a two, three pair in the row. Okay, Jesus. So that means that can't be a three. Okay, fine. That's my first digit for a long time. And it's not gonna help. Oh my days. One, three, four down here. That can't be a one to complete this column. Wow. I'm not doing well in this puzzle. There's a five up here. It's definitely a one up here. So the remaining two cells must add up to either seven or eight. Which is not hard to do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what 
Well, if this is an 8, this is a 1, 3, 4, or a 1, 2, 5. And unfortunately, both of those are fine. If this is a 9, this is a 1, 2, 6, which it can't be. Or it is a 1, 3, 4. No, sorry. It is a 1, 3, 5, which it can be. Really not very helpful. What am I missing? may have to edit this video. I don't like editing videos, so I don't do a lot of it. But I may have to, because I'm going to have a lot, a lot of pausing. Right, this is a 4, 3, or a 5. This 9, can this, can we, can this help? So this is a 3. These two need to add up to 6. Which they can, god damn it. Because that could be a 4 and a 2. Okay. If this is a five, these two need to add up to four, which they can't. There we go. Okay. And they, they can't, obviously, because there's a one already in the row. So this can't be a five. Oh, my word. So that is a three. And I just deduced that this would therefore have to be a four and a two. That is a five. That is a three. <sighs> that is a five. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Wow. That this puzzle has fought me this is a two star difficulty I mean maybe that was really obvious maybe there was something more obvious to do than that okay um, right there's definitely a two here that's not very helpful but I'll note it just the same so it feels like I'm doing something <laughs> um, this is an 8-9 in this column now which again is not that helpful. Maybe I already knew that as well. What are we missing from these cells? We're missing two, uh, eight, nine, and something else? Five? No. One, two, three. We're missing a three. Two, three, eight, nine. Now, could this be an eight or a nine? No, it cannot. Unfortunately, I think everything else is fair game, right? Yeah disappointing what about this cell is this this cell must be relatively limited right the maximum it could be is a six and it, it can't be a six and it sees five and four and one so this is a two or a three oh I'm blind right okay so there's a two three pair in this column now which means I can't put any more threes up here. So this isn't a three anymore. So this is a one or a five. Right, okay. So do I have to like do this mechanically? If this is a two, then these two need to add up to either six or... No, sorry. If this is a two... Yeah, these two add, need to add up to six or seven. That could be one, five, one, five. Uh, could it be... Could this add up to seven? <clears throat> Five and two. Five, two, or one, five. So, yes. So, that could well be a two and that be an eight. All right, sorry. That could be a two and that could still be an eight or a nine. Can this be a three? This is a three. These two need to add up to five. One and four obviously works. Nope, not getting anywhere. We're hit with that. There is definitely a five here. But unfortunately, that works, right? Because if that's a five, that's a two. <gasps> no, wait. If that's a... F Could this cell be a five? This is huge. Could this cell be a five? Oh, excuse me. What? Right, sorry. I don't know why I did that. If this is a five, this can't be a two because you'd need another uh, you'd need either that to be a 1 or a 2 and it can't be a 1 and that would already be a 2 if this is a 5 could this be a 3 that would make these two add up to 8 and you need a 1 to make 9 this can't be a 5 right so there is a 1 there's there's a 1 5 pair here 
because you need a five on this row. You need a five in one of these two stars, and you need a one. So that can't be a four. That's a four. Oh, this is nearly nearly half an hour on this puzzle. This has kicked my butt. Right. Six. Could be two or three. Either still works. No. Right. Four. This is a four. So could this be two and three to make nine? No, it can't. That can't be a two. Because if that's a two, that either has to be a two or a three. It can't. So that is a three. Which means this is either a one or a two. There's a one in the row, which doesn't work. So that is a two, three, four. And that gives me a nine and an eight. Maybe. Maybe we're working. Maybe we're working. Now that's a nine. That's an eight. That's a nine. Okay. Okay. That tells me that needs to be a two to make the eight work. That's therefore a three and a two in that order. That's a three. That's a three. This is a one, four pair. So that must be the two. That gives me a two up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I accidentally popped a one in there, didn't I? Which I didn't want to do. Right. Two there. Gosh. Two down here. Eight there. Eight and ones pair up here, don't they? Yep. I need an eight in those two and a one in those two. Therefore, that must be the nine. <clears throat> that gives me a nine in this box, which gives me my last nine down there. That removed one pencil mark, so that's a one. There's a four in that row already, so that's a four and a five in that order. That's a four and a five in that order. This has been resolved to be a one, a one, and a four. And a five, and a one, and a three. Wow, I don't know. I must have... I, I feel like I was missing something obvious, you know, because that took me a shade under 30 minutes, which is by far my longest solve so far, and it was only a two star, and it's an arrow, I quite like, I'm quite good at arrows, I, normally I think I'm quite good at arrows, but anyway, gosh, well, uh, hard fought puzzle that, but I still really enjoyed it, um, I hope you did as well, if you've been watching along, um, I really appreciate it, and as ever, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.